Hi Gretchen, so into this video we are going to discuss a salaries journal. So this question paper I did it for junior examination as well as final examination papers. So make sure that you stay tuned, watch until the end so that you will learn how are we going to calculate all these wages journal. Okay, I'm going to make it simple for you. Okay, uh, it was question one, it was June examination 2021 common test. Okay. And they said you are provided with the information related to corona traders for march 2021 and required complete the wages journal for last week ending 31 march 2021 okay is this uh, actually this is the answer book that we were provided okay now let's go straight to the question uh, to the information okay corona traders is a business manufacture school equipment they employ three workers production to work as follow okay information the business employ two employees who in a wage as follow okay number one we have Sichaba Mtongo we have Tira Sevilla and we have Mdungo Bese okay so they give us a basic salary as well as overtime okay so the first part we are going to calculate a basic wage after that we're going to calculate what uh, we're gonna calculate what we call it over time okay it's very simple it's like a copy and paste but you have to do some calculation okay let's start by Sichawa Mshongo he work how many hours he work 30 hours and the other partner Tira he work 40 hours okay let me change the marker okay it's 30 hours this side and 40 hours the other side okay then now the other employee is working 40 hours as well okay then now let's take how a rate per hour how much are they in in is in 200 per hour and the other one is in 250 per hour and the other one is in 300 per hour it's more like copy and paste guys just imagine six marks just for this okay it's 38 marks in total so now we have to go to amount amount we have to calculate you just multiply this multiply by this you get answer this multiply by this you get answer just like that 30 multiply by 200 is gonna give us 6,000 rand okay 40 multiply by 250 is gonna give us 10,000 rand okay and the other one is gonna give us twelve thousand okay now let's go and read <coughs> overtime information both Tira and Sevilla Mudu go where say have work overtime okay Sevilla and uh, Mudu is the one that work overtime ne? okay and they said <coughs> an overtime rate is double of the normal rate in other words, if he in 200, he's going to in 400 because it must double. Okay. Then they said Tira work 8 hours. Tira work 8 hours. And uh, Ngovese work 12. Okay. Now, the rate. This one is going to be 400 because they said it must be double. 400. Remember, this one didn't work over time okay and this one 300 will be 600 okay now let's calculate it's gonna be 8 times 400 it's gonna be 3200 okay another one 12 my blood by 600 it will be 7200 now we have to calculate a gross wage gross wage you take a basic plus overtime okay 10,000 plus 3,200 is going to give us 13,200. And this one, 12,000 plus 7,200, 12,000 plus 7,200 will be 19,200. And this one will give us 6,000 because he does not have what? He does not have overtime. It's zero. Okay. Then 
they said the other employee was away or in holiday. They are mean they mean Musong Mslenga was in holiday, he never work anything, which means that we did it correct. Okay. Deduction are as follow. Now we are coming to this side of deduction. They say that pension fund is 8% of basic. Basic is this one. Okay. So they say that pension fund for everyone is 8% of basic wage. Okay. Pension fund is this column. Let's do calculation. We're going to say 6,000. Mabla by 8% is going to give us 480 for this one and 10,000. 10,000 my blah by 8% is going to give us 800. And for Mudu, 12,000 is going to give us 960. Very simple. Okay. Uh, UIF is 1% of gross. Gross is this one. Is this one. Okay, 1% 1 of gross. Let's do it. 6,000 multiplied by 1% is going to be 60 rand. UIF is going to be 60 rand for this. And for this one, 13,200. 13,200. 13,200 is going to be uh, 132. And for 19,200, 19,200 is going to be 192. You have to be, you have to calculate, guys, to be 100% sure that whatever that you are calculating is correct. Don't just assume that you're just going to remove zeros. Ne? Please. Okay. Uh, PSEN is 18% of gross wage for employees, Chawamshongo, and 22% for other employees. So, Mshongo is the one that is only 18% because he's in a very less amount. Okay, 6,000 uh, multiplied by 18%. 6,000 multiplied by 18%. Okay, it's going to be 1,080. Okay, I have a marker problem here. But let's finish up this lesson. Okay, then the other employees, 22%, 13,200. My blah by twenty two percent is gonna be two thousand and nine or four. Okay. Okay, then also the other employee is twenty two percent, which is going to be nineteen thousand two hundred is which is going to give us four thousand two hundred and twenty four. Okay, now let's go to Medical aid. Medical aid, they say that is 12% of basic. 12% of this. Okay. 12 over 100. For 6,000, he's going to pay a medical aid of 720. And uh, the other one, he was in 10,000, he's going to, uh, to pay 1,200. And the other one of 12,000 is going to pay 1,440. Just like that. Okay. Now we need to calculate a total. Total, they mean you have to add all these four. Okay. Let's add total quickly. Plus 960 plus 4224. Okay. For this one, we're going to get amount 6,816. Okay. For the other one, 1080 plus 480 plus 720 plus 60, it's going to give you 2340. Okay, 2904 plus 800 plus 1200 plus 132, it's going to give you 5036. That's how you calculate total. A gross deduction guys so this is how you should do it very simple now we are going to the last part of net wage but please guys those who want to attend our extra class make sure that you come as early as possible don't wait for examination 
we, we have a student who joined us since uh, January and we are working very well now. So please make sure that you join us as soon as possible. It's only 60 rand per month in order for you to be added on WhatsApp group. Uh, you have to pay 60 rand per month so that we can do a live together. And you ask any question, if you are struggling, you're going to ask us on WhatsApp. Because I noticed that on, on term one, there are some students who were coming to me day before the test. Imagine around 12 o'clock at night, a person is calling me on WhatsApp, which obviously we are not going to assist you in that case. You have to come as early as, as possible and join us so that we can assist you and see where are you guys struggling. Okay. Now let's do the last part. The last part is net wage. Net wage, guys, we take gross minus deduction. In other words, we take 6,000 minus total deduction of 2,340. 2,340, which is going to give us 366. Okay. Uh, let me take another one my markers are finished all of them okay now let's go to the second one gross of 13,000 13,200 uh, minus 5,036 which is going to give us 8,164 okay and the last one 19,200 Minus six thousand eight hundred and okay, which is going to give us twelve thousand three hundred and eighty four. So as you can see, uh, deduction of these people they are not the same because they are not even in, in the same amount. Okay, so this is how you calculate uh, your wages general. But make sure that you check other videos as well that I did for this chapter. So that you're gonna master it in and out because in other question papers you will find some tricky other uh, different uh, kind of transaction like okay let's read the last part they say corona traders contribute 100 uh, contribute on rent for rent basis towards pension and uif so as you can see in this question we were not given any contribution a column to calculate which means that there was no need to do it to do this calculation of a uh, rent to rent rent to rent is like if employee contribute one rent even employer is going to contribute one rent and in total is going to be two rand okay if, if employee for example contribute 400 it's going to double and make it 800 just like that that's what we call rent to rent Okay, but the, it was not required on this question paper. Check the other one that I did. So, and please make sure that you subscribe, guys. So that every time when I upload video for grade 10, YouTube is going to give you a notification immediately. And also the, the, the advantage of subscribing, guys. Whenever, um, if you check on our grade 10 list uh, of a video, there are some videos that are not going to display on your side because you didn't subscribe to our channel and we also have a membership uh, videos which is going to open a lot of papers that i already done okay so i hope you enjoy and you learn something and guys don't forget if you are doing a uh, mathematics literacy mathematics economics and business study check uh, our description and check the other channel that i did uh, which i'm teaching the other subject make sure that you also go and join us so that you can learn the other subject beside accounting i'm gonna see you on the next one